We have a lot of institutional data that helps us understand what students get from their Auburn experience and where there might be places that we could do better. A couple of those indicators are that students need more experience in communicating what they know to a diverse set of audiences. And another is that they need to be able to make connections across different courses or different experiences, synthesizing those things together. So we think the ePortfolio project helps us meet those needs in a more creative and, and um, appropriate way. An ePortfolio is obviously a process because you're assembling these different kinds of documents or artifacts, but it's also a product. It's um, a digital website that includes those reflective contextualizations that help your audience to make sense of what your learning experiences are. One of the ways that an ePortfolio is different is that it lets students combine materials that they've done from classes with things that they've done in extracurricular activities or co-curricular activities like study abroad. And because it lets them use different kinds of documents, not just PDFs of their resume, but slideshows or videos or drawings or Excel spreadsheets, they can actually make a much richer case for the com combination of learning experiences that have made them who they are. I think that one of the benefits of working on the ePortfolio is it's been able to show me some of the connections between the different areas of campus that I've been working in. For one thing, it's made me found relationships between, say, my classwork and some of my involvement in SGA. But beyond that, it's also made me see some of the areas that I'm most passionate in. For instance, undergraduate research. I'm interested in getting involved for myself, but in my involvement in SGA, I'm working to help promote availability and awareness to others. And my work with undergraduate research is something I'm passionate about and something that I hope to show on my ePortfolio. I would certainly recommend that other students get involved in the process of making an ePortfolio. I think that uh, having one sets you apart from other students, but then even beyond that, the process of making it uh, helps you see who you are and the connections between what you're involved in uh, and makes your campus life, your campus involvement, all that more meaningful. For me, the real benefit of the ePortfolios is its likely impact on student thinking. The technical competence is something that, um, you know, that's very beneficial. Students might well have gotten that in some other way. The practical value of the portfolio, and I think it will have practical value, is also important. We want our students to leave the university with an ability to think critically, to make connections, to solve problems, to be involved in the creation of new knowledge, and um, to be able to present that to an audience in writing and speech and visually in a way that's persuasive and compelling. And the ePortfolio fosters all of those abilities. Those are captured, uh, the university learning outcomes are a sort of nutshell version of those. The portfolio really offers students a chance to, to work on those particular skills.